Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Once again. That, that was very frightening right there. That little flash of like you saw someone on the screen. That was actually actually rather terrifying. And that's only, only suitable. It's only fitting that it would be horrifying. Since we're looking at a horror of x -Blake. Yep, there it was again. There was something on the screen, but what we know is on the screen is Vital Force. We're going to press start. And in Vital Force, we're going to start a new game, and we're going to learn of this tragic, horrifying story. And it's worth resetting my progress. Jessica, language? Jessica doesn't remember what happened before. What could have happened in her life which would have caused her to end up in this strange place. This strange, spooky place. Well, Jessica is going to have to learn how to move around. Going to have to learn how to hold down the left stick in order to run. But there is one thing that Jessica finds that she is missing, and that's, of course, her phone. She has to have her phone on her at all times, being that she is a millennial, and you know how they are. We found a first aid kit. I'm going to pick that up. There's our phone. We got it. Strange app that's playing on it right now, though. And with the, with the phone, we're able to see things that we would not be able to see otherwise. And what if we took its picture? We can destroy the ghosts by taking their picture. So yes, it's Fatal Frame. It's Indie Fatal Frame. And there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, yes, let's turn our light on. Not that much of a difference, but it's a little bit. However, by using our light, we are going to consume battery life. So we are going to have to find additional batteries as we go on. Fortunately, there is one right here. So, we can see what we have. 94% battery life. That's not too bad. Of course, we don't know how long our adventure here is going to be. A subway. Well, let's look around. Yeah, first thing we should do, look through the phone to see if there's anything obvious that we should pay attention to. And yes, you do have to hold down the button for a few seconds to pick uh, to pick the thing up because you know, it adds it adds tension to the scene when you have to spend a few seconds to pick something up because there might be ghosts. Ghosts all around you trying to get at you while you're picking up the item. You don't know if there are. The only way you can find out is by looking through the phone. Uh-oh. Lost soul. But the lost soul has been defeated through the power of mobile phones.
Let's keep going on a little bit further. Nope, actually we just run into a wall. So yeah, let's destroy this barrier. And see what's inside. Uh-oh. Spider. Use the phone to kill the spider, even though a spider's not a ghost? I mean, I guess we could... I guess you can use a phone to kill a spider, but you... You you do it by, like, using the phone as, as, a, as a cudgel to hit the spider. I don't think taking pictures is going to do anything. But I guess there's supernatural ghost spiders. And because of that, our phone will, will work to kill them. Is how that works, I guess. Sometimes the game kind of stops as I go into a room. I guess it's loading up. Oh no, it got me! The face of terror is so, it's so terrifying. I mean, it's, it's called the face of terror. Hold on, I think I have to use some health. There we go. Now we're fine. All right, now that the face of terror is out of the way and is not going to bother us, let's turn this off and see if we can get through. Can you believe that face of terror? We are on important business here of, I don't know, some kind, and it's interrupting us. Trying to stop us from doing what we need to do, like bashing this vent. I'm going to bash it with my bare hands until we get through. Because just taking a picture of the vent won't work. It won't do anything. It's not a supernatural vent or anything. It's just a normal vent. So we just have to hit it. Have to hit it? We have to headbutt it with our eight-year-old head until we get through. And now we're like in a cavern underneath the subway is I guess what this is. Ah. All right. It's set a path for us. Ah, uh, yes. The lava-filled catacombs underneath the subway. They really should do something about this. Alright, there's like a platform, a magic platform. And I guess we need to jump on that. Alright. Actually, it was a teleporter. So by jumping on the teleporter, we're able to sort of make our way across this lava-filled room. Let's try that again. And right there. <laughs> Alright, we made it. It's a good thing we have this cell phone. I don't know what lost souls who found themselves in the spirit world did before they before the advent of cell phones like they would just have been completely defenseless against the terrors 
that they would have found here. Well, it looks like there's only one way to go. Oh, giant spider. All right. Yep, that's a giant spider right there. I mean, it's, I guess it's not a ghost because, like, it's... We don't have to look at our phone to see it. Yet taking pictures of it is hurting it. Hold on, we're out of battery. The I, I think that the spider is just going to, you know, stand by uh, and just politely let us refresh the battery, put a new one in. You know, it's going it's going to be courteous. And there we go. We killed the giant spider and found the journey rune. They're a great band. And now with this rune, we're able to hear their songs wherever we go. It doesn't matter if what the ghosts think of that. They can't stop us. Anyway, let me use a med kit because we're kind of getting low on health. As a rune, we haven't seen any anywhere that we could actually use such a thing, but I'm sure we'll find one eventually. For right now, let's get out of the spider's pit. And we do that by probably bashing, like, this thing with our fists again. There we go. Like, just imagine this eight-year-old kicking and punching at this vent to get through while holding up their phone, pointing it at, at, for whatever reason. And, like, when we're, we're, when we're in this position, the only thing we could be doing is headbutting it, right? Anyway, we're back here. Alright, so we, we were on an adventure, and we... Hold on, something here. Ghosts are nothing in the face of modern technology. I don't know why anyone's even scared of ghosts. All you need is a cell phone. Oh, that one was only two. I guess those were more powerful pictures. Mm, nothing there. It's a good thing there are so many batteries specifically for our model of cell phone just lying around. It's going to come in very useful. Eh, should just reach up and just kind of stop that from swinging, but... Eh. Oh, I need the basement key. Gotta go find that. All right, we haven't tried the door up there as of yet. So let's head up there and see if we can find a basement key, which would be something that could be useful as opposed to finding these stones with runes on them. We haven't found a use for them yet. Uh-oh, hell claws. Yep, those are some hell claws right there. Now that Jessica has mastered the art of the phone, she is unstoppable. How are the how are the ghosts supposed to do anything against her? 
and her mastery of taking pictures with a cell phone. You know, really bothering someone in the bathroom is extremely rude. If you wanted to ask Jessica a question, you really should wait until she's done. Hmm, a key. I have a feeling that a key like this could only be used in a basement. I don't know why I have that feeling. I'm going to ask you to trust me on this, that I think that's the only thing that you could possibly use a key like this for. All right, let's see what's on the other side first before we head to the basement. Just cell... Oh, hold on. I was about to say cell phone batteries just all over the place. Little did I know that this one was guarded by a spider that we will kill by taking pictures of. So this is a long hallway. Our light does not extend all the way down, so let's just keep our light sort of on the corner of the wall and the floor so we're able to see what we're doing. Hmm, this one's not sealed, but we can't open it either. It's not saying that it's locked, just that we just can't open it. Hmm. An oddly empty bathroom. You think after going through that hallway there would be something in here, but I guess not. And the phone uh, the phone's not showing me anything. Well, I guess at least there's a battery. That's one thing at least. We're not leaving empty handed, I suppose. All right, well, whatever. Let's head back to the basement, use our basement key, and see what scary ghosts are down there. Alright, here it is. No, actually, that was not it. This is it! Oh, hold on, our battery's out, isn't it? Yep. Let's replace that battery. We have so many. Well, I mean, turning the lights off... Not really the most intimidating thing when you, you glow in the dark, when you... When looked at through a phone, I guess. Why is it that all these ghosts seem to want to kill Jessica? Whoop. I did not check to see if this was sealed. That was my fault. 
I was in the middle of wondering why these ghosts all seem to want to kill Jessica. Jessica has done nothing to them. At least as far as we know. Granted, we don't know about Jessica's past. It might be... Seedy. She might have go ghosts in her closet, but usually it's skeletons. Alright, this seems like a friendly room. I always thought indoor graveyards were certainly more classy than the outdoor ones. The tombstones, they don't they're not exposed to the elements, you know? Preserves them better. Okay, I need two runes. So I have one. I'm halfway there. Now, the second room said that only authorized personnel can go in. But Jessica doesn't care about that. Oh. I guess she's going to have to care about that because we need to get the maintenance key in order to open this up and get in there. Uh, let's see. So, if we don't have that... Actually, let me use a med kit. So if we don't have that, and I think everything else so far has led to a dead end. Oh, I missed this. There's the maintenance key. And it was so close to this door that I don't know why they even bothered locking the door to begin with. Well, I guess only one thing to do here. Giant scorpion. Yeah, there it is. Let's take its picture. You have to take its picture a bunch of times to kill the giant scorpion. But taking its picture did eventually kill it, just like it will kill anything, such as the power of cell phone pictures. Well, I'm glad that there's another one here for more, because it's a very photogenic subject, you know? Giant scorpions, I mean. Found the protection rune. That's two runes. Count them. One and two. Got two runes. Now that we have the two runes, that means we can go through that one door that we don't know why we need to go through it. I mean, I'm sure Jessica is going to get to the bottom of this eventually. It's just that for right now, there's a lot of mystery behind Vital Force and why we're here and why we're doing these things that we need to do and why we need to take pictures of ghosts, spiders, and scorpions with her cell phone. while repeatedly headbutting vents 
vent covers so we can crawl through the vents, of course. All right, we're back here. Let's take a run around, head down back to that indoor graveyard, and see what happens when we use two, two runes to open up that one locked door. Got both runes. Doors open. And behind it? Red graveyard. That's the worst kind of graveyard, is red graveyard. I think we fell. I think we fell, and there's a red orb in front of us. And oh no. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. That's what that is. That is a demon. And it's coming right for us. I guess we could take its picture. But it does not look like it's especially photogenic. You know, let me replace my battery. Oh, the evil face. Well... Should be able to take its picture. All right. So we're surrounded by souls, by faces that are floating up into the ether. And this demon is not going to get hurt by us taking pictures of it. But among the blue faces, there are some red faces. Let's try taking their pictures. Its health meter went down a little bit after we took the picture of the red face. Uh, not close enough to that one. You know, this demon's just gonna hang out, I guess. Eventually it's gonna shoot some evil faces. Oh. It was not close enough to kill it in one shot, I guess. have to try to get to these red faces before they fly away too far, like this. There we go. Just gotta get him right head on and reel up close and you can get him in one. I imagine this demon must have been very fearsome in the days before phone technology. What would you even have done? He's just very frustrated that he finds that he's become obsolete in the face of modern society. I mean, it happens to all of us. He shouldn't feel too bad about it. 
None of us can stay relevant forever, Demon. None of us can. And so we find out the truth. Jessica is just one of those damn millennials just paying attention to their phone all the time, not paying any attention to anything that's going on around them. Got hit by a train. The end. It's see, it's a, it's um it's a life lesson. It's like a fable, you know. The moral of the story is. Pay attention to where you're going when you're walking and your phone is out. Is what the lesson is, is I guess. She was too busy playing the Pokemon's Go's and she saw the Pikachu on the train track. Fortunately, that detail was left out of the news story. So, uh, so Nintendo didn't have to make a statement about it. Anyway, more games, Mechanoid Army, Avatars on the Edge, Zombies Ruined My Day, Killed Me, and Sent Me to Vital Force. That's what they did. It's Vital Force. Oh, we already saw those. Okay. What about the help? This is the help. Oh, wait, there are more, there are more pages. There we go. Ghost Lock, Spider, Hell Claws, Lost Soul, Face of Terror, The Giant Scorpion, The Giant Spider, the evil face and the demon let's see the demon emerged from the depths of hell he is here to take you into the abyss but fortunately you have a phone so you did not get dragged into the abyss kicking and screaming you just took pictures and you survived and made it to heaven and that is vital force remember uh, just remember, there is a lesson to be learned, even though Jessica should have been paying more attention to her surroundings. There is one lesson that we can learn from her untimely death, and that is, whenever it is that you go, whenever your time comes, and you pass on, make sure that you're holding a cell phone, uh, because you're going to need it in the afterlife. You're going to need to take pictures of demons and ghosts so they are not able to drag you to hell. Because uh, what would Jessica have done? If she didn't have that. She'd be in hell right now. Is That's what would have happened. I can tell you that right now. Because of her phone. That she is in heaven. So. Learn from Jessica. Just take your phone with you wherever you go. And if you feel you know. Maybe you feel like you have a bad feeling about the day. That maybe something bad might happen. Make sure your phone's fully charged. Because you might have to take some pictures of some ghosts. And some giant scorpions in order to battle your way into the afterlife. It could happen, is all I'm saying. That's been Vital Force. One of the horrors of x -Blig. I'll see you next time.